For the second week in a row, the Big Ten is honoring an Ohio State quarterback, but it's not Dwayne Haskins, no. Today, backup Tate Martell named the league co-freshman of the week following his performance in the win over Rutgers, but he completed all 10 passes, including a 51-yard touchdown, and added a 47-yard TD run. BCSN's Mark Koontz joins us now with the latest from the fourth-ranked Buckeyes. After back-to-back -back blowout victories, Ohio State is facing their toughest test to date as they travel to Texas to take on TCU. Now, despite those easy wins over Oregon State and Rutgers, Ohio State is taking a self-critical approach as they prepare for the Horned Frogs. When the games get tighter, uh, every play matters uh, even more. And so the mistakes are still there. We talked about that in the meeting yesterday. The mistakes are still there. Um, you know, we can't, like for instance, the, you know, the interception in the red zone two games ago, or, um, you know, a play where we're false starting, or, you know, a sack on third down. Those plays in a big game are going to show up even more. So they're still there, and we have to correct them. And that's a sign of a mature group is, you know, you can, you can win a big game, kind of like we have the last two games, but, but then come to work and be critical of yourself and, and take the coaching so that we make the corrections to keep building. After the uh, opener, Urban comes in and says, what, you only had to punt once? What was his feedback this time? No, it, it was kind of what we just talked about, how, you know, we got to make corrections and we got to be critical of ourselves moving forward so that, um, you know, in a game like this, some of the mistakes that are being made don't catch up to you. When you think they're okay, they're, they're not. we got to get those things fixed. Nick Bosa is off to an incredible start to his junior season. He hasn't really played a full game. He hasn't seen a whole lot of action in either of the second halves, but he's already has three quarterback sacks, nine pressures on the quarterback, leading some to wonder, is it perhaps Heisman Trophy time for a defensive lineman? Well, you know, I'd love to say, yeah, let's get a defensive player in there, but I think there's been one in how many years, right? So the reality is it's more of an offensive award because it's easier to chart. It's easier to um, make a big deal of touchdowns and rushing yardage and passing yards, and I understand that. He's playing at a high level, very high level. Yeah, he affects. Um, as an offensive coach, you're going to know where he is all the time. Nick's a dominant player in college football right now for sure. There's awards for that as well. Uh, I, I like them on our team. I know that. In other Ohio State news today, we did learn the start time for next week's game, home against Tulane. That will be a 3.30 kickoff for the Buckeyes. In Columbus, Mark Kutz, BCSN.